Hey, Pilates enthusiasts, I'm Emmy Cole of Pilates Expanded, and I'm coming to you from Snowmass, Colorado. Today, I'm gonna to go through a series of exercises in a progression from easy to difficult, doing the exercise mermaid. So I'm gonna start out with the short box on the carriage at the end of the shoulder rest. Foot bar is in its upright position, and I'm gonna begin by sitting right on the carriage in between my short box and my foot bar with my legs stretched out in front of me. Pressing away from the foot bar, I'll reach over and I'm concentrating on keeping my hips flat on the carriage. So I'm nice and stable at the hip joint, but allowing the obliques to stretch over into the mermaid position. Next, I'm gonna remove the short box, but I'm gonna use it again. So I'm just gonna place it close to me. And I'm gonna come into the standard mermaid leg position with one shin against both shoulder rests, the other foot against the thigh, and my arm to the center of the bar, reaching over for the oblique stretch. And then I'll come up, grab either the shoulder rest or the rod attached to it, and reach over to the other side. So one's a motion stretch, and the other is a static stretch. Next, I'm gonna grab my short box again, but this time I'm gonna place it at the spring end. So I'm gonna lower my foot bar all the way down and place the box so that it's sitting on the cross rails of the carriage, and in this case, also the foot bar. And from here, we're gonna, for the first time, bring the mermaid position up into a side plank. So I'm gonna have my top leg press in front of the bottom leg and my forearm on the box. And as I press the legs out, I come up into a plank as I reach the arm over for the stretch, and then nice and controlled to bring the carriage back in. So I lower the hip as I come in, raise the hip as I press out. And then I will once again remove the box. And I'll bring the foot bar to its upright position. And next we'll go into the full mermaid. So for this one, I'm gonna add a little extra tension just so that I don't fling the carriage out. And again, top leg is crossed in front of the bottom leg. The working arm is to the center of the bar. And as we press the carriage out, up into the plank, reaching all the way over for the stretch and controlling the lower back into the bumper position. And then the final challenge here is once we're up in that high mermaid position to add a twist as we pike in. So it's almost like elephant with mermaid combined and then we relax back down to the carriage. So reaching up, carriage comes in as we scoop the arm under, reaching up as the carriage goes out and relaxing down. I hope you've enjoyed these basic and extremely difficult versions of Mermaid. For more information, please visit www.pilatesexpanded.com. Thanks for watching.